This pond has been here for many years. Residents say it is as old as the community. It is difficult to count the number of crocodiles here. My name is uh, Reverend Elisha Osman Agbon. I'm from uh, Zosi Jianku. A Kolowok pond is a pond that contains a whole lot of crocodiles. As you can see, there is one line over there. Known as Akolwok, it is one of the few crocodile ponds in the Upper East region, but little or no attention has been paid to the pond. Reverend Elisha Osman Agwang Alombila Dawini and Imoro Zakari Akugri have all witnessed and monitored the activities of the crocodiles over the past three decades. We used to swim here when we were young, till now. They don't leave, they don't go to any place, they used to stay in the water. The issue is that if you come here and you are putting, let me say, a, is it a frog or a toad inside, you see that a number of them will come on top of the water. So you see that they will run, more than 10 or 15 will run and come out, so that they will be rushing. So from there, I will get to know that there are so many inside in the water but in recent times the level of water in the pond is gradually decreasing residents attribute the drying up to farming activities along the pond among others and these days the water is decreasing so we don't know that why the water is decreasing so we need to come out like farming along the riverside made the water to be so shallow not deep again like we used to know in the first time so we are calling upon help. Whoever or whomever who heard of this should support us so that this, this place can change into storage center. I am sad. Here is Chief of Yargun Naba Alumbila Alal Kuduk. The pond is at the verge of death. It was expanded several years ago. I think those who farm near the pond are destroying it. The crocodiles used to come out for fresh air, but because of the farmers, they don't come out anymore. He says the pond is one of the respected earth gods, which on many occasions communicated to them about the future. If the water dries up now, we will not be happy. What our grandfathers told us was that our lives depend on the survival of the pond, which is an earth god. If something was about to happen, it communicated to us. Naba Alal Kudu can't also tell the age of the pond, but says his grandparents came to meet it. How residents could channel their concerns to government officials is one of the biggest challenges. But, uh, because they are not paying attention to it, we, we spoke about it to our leaders and they are not saying anything. And we know we those are here, our level of education is very low. So how to channel it is a very big problem to us. That's why the crocodile pond is still lying this way. If this crocodile pond is developed, if people come to expand the pond, it will create the enabling environment for the crocodiles so that many people will come and the place will open up, the youth here will get work to do. 
I believe if this crocodile pond is developed, we'll see that here is a potential area. People can come and do investment and it will open up and create jobs for the youth and everyone are in and around the community here. The development of the crocodile pond will not only serve as a tourist site but also generate revenue for the country until something significant is done to transform the current state of the pond. It will remain as it is or even worse for many years to come. A report by Mohamed Nuruddin.